But there's a guidance. We don't know the guide, but there's a guidance. Yeah, I think that <laughs> that life is all made up of, of of signs and symbols, and that it's uh, like the as you say the Kabbalah and all these things. It there is something unknown, something secret. Mm. Uh, um, and you just have to be aware and, uh, and awake to these things, these signs and symbols. Extraordinary things happen. I mean, you can't go around telling people all the time of these extraordinary things. They'd lock you in an asylum. <laughs> they would say, my God, she's changed her name again. She's got a. Yeah. She's suffering from schizophrenia. She's a paranoia. Like, like, like so Dylan, you don't like, say anything. Like, like Dylan Thomas's grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> He would be locked up yeah. in an asylum today, you know. Huh? You know so, I mean, the, the <laughs> <laughs> writing and no. So uh, it's it's a it's a question of also being very discreet about these yeah. uh, this this inner voice and uh, like Jean d'Arc. Mm. Of course, she had inner voices. I mean, she did an incredible thing. But the, again, this was guided by a greater spirit. We we laugh and we joke about these things, but no, there are people. I, I don't know whether it's a gift or what, but it is something uncanny. Yeah. And I sometimes get scared. Yeah. You know, I'm, 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 I, I sort of, I've, I write it down and I've had very many experiences with a dream or in the head here one day, I, I, I just saw this figure or, uh, you know, I mean, uh, crazy things kind of thing. Yeah. And I was perfectly normal. Yeah. Uh, I so you, it's, it's, you write things down and very yeah. often something happened. It was in the metro and I saw a bag and I said, oh my God, this is terrible. I mean, that bag could contain a bomb and suddenly I had this vision of people being thrown everywhere and there was a crash. I got off the metro, I got home and there'd been a metro crash in Paris. Mm. I was sitting away from it in another metro coming getting off at Sablon and at the very time that this had taken place I was going through that experience. You can't say that. You just write it down. And another, you know, many, many, that's what I mean by signs and symbols, receiving things yeah. that are, you're not visionary in the sense of looking into the future or being a fortune teller, that's, you know, but you you do receive vibrations of things that are already in the mind. The evil is in the mind. It's going to happen. I had the same thing with the Twin Towers. When I'm painting New York, somebody had come back and given me painting. I've hidden the painting away. It frightened me to death. And I thought, my God, the sky was changing. The, everything started to crumble. The whole thing was just the, an explosion. Two days later, the towers were Mm -hmm. So we're receiving from the cosmos or from this opaqueness vibrations that, yeah. are, that are already in the minds of the, the evil is already there. Yeah. What I call the superior world. You know, you know uh, the greater spirit is trying to sort of make contact perhaps. Yeah. To, to war. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know these I see, I see. I see two problems with, with today's art is the despiritualization, that's one aspect. And, and the other aspect is the the separate. I would say the divorce between art and ethics. You know, I think that's, yeah, that's maybe okay, yeah. a very very serious ethics. thing. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it, it's it, to me it's a pathology. It's 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 a disease. This divorce between art and ethics. You know, and and uh, there's a French philosopher, uh, Lacou Labart, who speaks of aesthetics but aesthetics with th twice you know so uh, a kind of um, portmanteau word between aesthetics and ethics aesthetics oh, yeah know? and uh, I think that's brilliant because it's 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 a kind of epitome of the problem of art today I mean this is what I call this divorce between art and ethics 